Hey, hey, family. It's your favorite auntie, and I am back with another episode of Truths and Treats with Auntie BB. And y'all, I am on a foolery <laughs> run. So I got some good and some bad stuff for you all. So get ready for it. Grab them cups. And I hope that water is cold, that coffee is hot, and that tea mm, is oh so sweet. But if you are deciding to have a cup of hot chocolate, child, put some marshmallows in there. Mm. <laughs> Let's get into it. Well, you all know that I use social media and I happen to be in this very strange group and they send in a lot of questions to the moderator and letters of source. What I be expecting from some of you all, <laughs> but since I don't, I go right on over here and get my information, right? So these letters sometimes just drive me up a wall. They are so far-fetched, but there are actually people in this world, may not be your next door neighbor, may not be your cousin, sister, or uncle, but there are people in this world with some wild stuff going on. I almost said another word, but I'm going to try my best to keep this nice and clean, okay? <laughs> so... You guys, here's the first thing, and I'm going to go through a couple of them, and I'm just going to give my take and my insight and my answer to these crazy letters and questions, okay? First one is, keep me anonymous. I'm dating this guy, and he's weird. Like, he would take me on dates and nothing else. Like, we've been dating for two months, and he's taking me out every Saturday for the past two months. He hasn't made a mention or a move as far as sex. He's hugged me several times, but hasn't kissed me. He's very routine. He calls me on his lunch break and when he gets out the shower after work. He just takes me to different restaurants every week and drops me off and goes home. He's not applying any pressure. He's not affectionate enough. Like, are we really together? Are you sexually attracted to me? <laughs> he said he's looking for a relationship, but I think he's playing my mind or just playing this game with me. I'm so confused. I need some real advice before I bring this up to him. <laughs> okay, sweetie. Um, I know that they're not listening to me, but you all, I'm just giving you some entertainment. Okay, this Auntie BB. Child, I get so tired of hearing these women say that they want a nice relationship or they don't want somebody to look at them as a sexual object and to talk to them and have a conversation and grow to love them before they make the next move. But then this child coming on here saying that it's been two months and now she ready to hit the sack is he not a, um looking at her as attractive or sexually attractive is child what do you want that's what i really want to ask what do you want if you just want somebody to uh, uh -huh, i'm trying to keep this real nice but if you just want somebody to jump your bones then you should have got somebody to just do that don't start dating and get somebody that's maybe a decent person and not looking for that, looking to have a conversation and pick your thoughts on different things and want to see where your mind is and how you're going to look forward towards the future and maybe your future together. You don't want that? I'm confused too. I'm really confused because one hand, you're saying you want a man to do that. And then on the other hand, you're saying you want a man to just throw you in the bed and have this way. Y'all, <laughs> what y'all think about that? Child, get yourself together. Move on. 
leave him alone and find you one of them ones on the street down the way that's going to do that. Let this man go and find the woman of his dreams. That's how I feel about it, okay? Okay, let's move on to another one. This person says, I have a quick question. What does it mean if you're dating a black man and I'm white, but he's cheating on me with black girls? Why even be with me if you're still going to mess with them? <laughs> yeah, you know what I say? You know, you know what we be calling them, right? We be calling them Karen. <laughs> well, Karen is the one that do all that other stuff. We're going to call her Becky. Okay, Becky. Boo. Um, it, would it be better if he was to cheat on you with some more Beckys? Would it be better for that? Um, because he's cheating on he just a cheat, child. And you need to move on or shut up. That's that's it. That's all. That's what I'm gonna say. That's Auntie BB giving it to you straight. No chaser. <laughs> move on or shut up. He going to cheat regardless, okay? Next one. Because <laughs> these are so crazy. This one really got me, you all. And you are going to have your mouth wide open. <laughs> I'm really scared because I don't want to be a single parent again. I'm on my fifth abortion because my boyfriend doesn't act right and I don't want to bring a child into this world like that. I have had two from other men and three from him. I got pregnant at 16 and kept my son and he is amazing. His dad was never in his life. So now if I get pregnant and I feel like he's not the one, then I'm getting rid of the baby. Simple. Mm. I want to be married before I have my next child. My boyfriend has been dragging his behind and ain't said nothing about marriage, but I'm in love with him. Should I just let him go because he's not acting right? <laughs> Y'all, I have to keep laughing at these because I really want to shake some of these women, child. So you're on, you know, I was going to talk about that abortion law that texas has the heartbeat act uh, this is probably one of the reasons why they making it you are the problem okay you had five three from him why do you continue to have unprotected sex with him why i'm not understanding that just because he's your boyfriend you're going to keep doing this and keep getting pregnant both of you all need to be on some type of birth control okay yeah i, I see in the comments that people saying girl get on birth control well what about him too okay you keep having these abortions and messing up your body now i'm not against it I'm not going to talk about that because I know there are some people that's, oh, you shouldn't do this for this reason. Oh, you got to do this for this. Listen, to each their own, a woman's body is her body and she can do what she wants. But this right here is ridiculous. She didn't had five, two from other men because she just don't want to be that one to be a single parent. And so I'm just going to go and have unprotected sexual intercourse with these men. I get pregnant, but I know they're not going to stay. So I'm just going to get rid of the baby child. First of all, you mess up your body and your mind is, is messed up as well. Now you didn't have three with this man. What is the point of it all? Something is definitely wrong with you and not him. Why are you trying to put the blame towards him not marrying you or dragging his behind to not say that he wants to get married and you're so in love with him, but you keep, get some help, babe. Get some help because you need it, okay? Um, a baby don't keep a man and getting rid of a baby ain't gonna keep a man. and child you need some help you stop having sexual intercourse and go seek some therapy for yourself that's how i feel that's just auntie bb's take on it right there because you know what <laughs> I, I i 
can't see no sense into any any of it, okay? Whew, child. Mm. Let me do this last one right here. <laughs> Please make me anonymous, they say. Well, you don't put your name in there, so you got to be anonymous. So I'm pregnant and I'm very excited. I decided to share the news with my potential baby daddy. Potential. <laughs> and this man tells me I'm currently the fourth. I'm like, wait, what? I played it cool. So what do you mean the fourth? One is five months pregnant. One is three months pregnant. And two of us are freshly pregnant. I don't know what to do because he claimed he wasn't with anyone else while with me. I actually liked him up until then. <laughs> I feel like I just keep making the same mistake with these men. So if you all could be kind enough to give me real genuine advice, I'll appreciate it. You need help too. <laughs> that's it. That's all. Keep your legs closed. Why do you feel like it's just okay to be continuing to sleep with these men and get pregnant by them. Nobody's using protection these days. Nobody's caring about um, STDs. Nobody's caring that there are still those things as um, HIV and AIDS out there, um, gonorrhea, herpes, and all of that. And there are still those things that are out there. That, yeah, 95% of people that's out there having sexual intercourse are probably infected with something. No, you may not have an outbreak all the time, or you may not even have an outbreak, but there's something. Because what? Everybody's out there just willy-nilly in it and just doing whatever they want with whoever they want and not protecting their selves. First of all, you're giving of yourself and you're creating all of these soul ties with all of these different people. You're, you're having sexual intercourse is something spiritual. And I'm not saying that uh, auntie has been the best of anything. No, I'm not. But when you live and you learn, you're supposed to know and do better from that you know, right? From that from which you learn, right? And it seems like some of you women are not learning anything out there. You just continue to give yourself. First of all, get yourself checked, baby. Because you, you and the baby could be, be at risk. And then, you know what? This man needs to go on about his business and you need to go on about yours. Because apparently, he just wants to... If you want um a polyamorous relationship, then go ahead and stay in it. Because apparently, he wants to have a whole bunch of women with children. And he wants them all. And if that ain't something that you want, then move on. I ain't talking against the polys. I'm not. Um, sister wives and all of that kind of stuff. Do you. But if they ain't what you signed up for, then move on. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Move on and get yourself checked and do better. Do better. Do y'all hear me? Do better. Stop um, putting STDs, uh, stereotyping and all of that kind of stuff when you're out there just willy-nilly in. If you ain't getting yourself checked on the daily, baby, you just might have some too. Y'all keep your legs closed. Keep your pants up. The, the, the women and men do right. When you know better, you're supposed to do better. I just thought 2021 would bring about some sense to folks, but apparently I was wrong. <laughs> And those are all the ones that I am going to go through on today, family. Woo! I hope you all enjoy that. Now, if you got some comments, questions to ponder, anything like that, make sure you are writing me at K-E-N-J-A at KCLPFuse.com. And I'll answer those questions. i even read them on the air. <laughs> And with that family, mm, 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 I cracks myself up. I will be right back. <laughs> 